exciting day. Another part is in. Let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome to the Thor Repairs channel. I know it's been a long time since I released a Ram truck video, but trust me, it's worth it. Today we're gonna to be installing the Magnaflow Direct Fit Exhaust. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step with you guys. Nothing too in-depth, but I'll show you all the steps. Uh, also, we'll do some before and after exhaust sounds just to see what you think. I think you will like this if you don't want anything too crazy loud, but you just want that nice purr. That's what Magnaflow gets you. But uh, first, please subscribe and smash that like button. Let's get opening the box to see what we got inside. So to let you know what I have is it's a 2021 Ram Rebel. This exhaust is supposed to fit on the 2019 and up uh, new style fifth gen Rams. Uh, to let you guys know where I got it from, I got it from partsengine.ca. It's a Canadian website, but they might ship to the US. So my US viewers and other country viewers other than Canada, check it out, they might ship. I found it a really good deal on there. There was even a discount code. And this is a code that anybody can use. Um, these guys aren't paying me or anything. But the, the code that was on there when I punched it in was MGFLOW-14672. And that knocked off 20%. So that was about 100 bucks. It knocked off the top. So um, I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Also, the part number for this is 19433. So you type that in, Magnaflow 19433, and you'll see what I mean for the exhaust. But let's open this box up and see what we got inside. So some stickers, warranty, you got your gasket. So that's good, they give you a new gasket and instructions in there. Nice new package. We've got the clamp. So that, that'll be for, obviously this end, the clamp's gonna go on there when you make your cuts. It's got all the hangers. So I guess it's just two hangers there and there. So that should be fairly easy, nicely packaged. But as you can see, it's pretty basic. You're gonna have your two bolts on the end and then you're gonna make your cut on the exhaust. I'll show you all that in the video. But that's what you get, guys. Looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? I see a nut here. So it looks like you're gonna get your bolts for that also, or you can reuse the ones you have. But uh, that's what you get. Okay, so the instructions said that you need a 15 mil socket. So that's what's on my drill. Saw, so you can use a hacksaw. I have a saw is all I'm gonna use. Some pry bars to get the hangers off, the rubber hangers, also some lube to spray on those rubber hangers. And then just some pry bars, they said, to uh, get the uh, hangers off on the exhaust. So this is everything it says you guys need for this install. And yes, I'm sponsored by DeWalt. Just kidding. Ready, set, go! Okay, so I made a mark where I have to make my cut. So this is the end towards the back of the truck. It says to cut it right close to the weld here. So I'm gonna be cutting it there and then You'll see here the two bolts. Those are the two bolts I'm going to be taking off. And then there's uh, two hangers that I'm going to be doing. There's one right there. And then another one back at the top over here. I don't know if you guys can see just up in there. And then it's going to just drop out. So let's get doing that. I just cut this off here right now. I thought I was filming it, but I wasn't. Um, to show you, so with this DeWalt saw, you can turn your blade sideways so that you can fit in here way easier. So that's what I ended up doing, cutting it off. So thanks to the old DeWalt there, that worked well. So now let's get those bolts off. Hey, so it said 15 mils. 
and those are probably for the bolts or the nuts that they include but this on the truck here is actually a 16 so just so you guys know these this here is a 16 mil socket so let's take this off Just like that. So now the exhaust is just held on by the hanger. So I'm gonna spray some WD-40 on there and get those hangers off. I just wanna make a note here also, there is this ground. It's just clipped on. So you can see here, I just pulled it off of my hands. So you'll wanna reattach that to the new exhaust. So we're gonna pry off these hangers now. So I got it out. Um, you'll see that there is a difference in size. Uh, we'll weigh it actually and see just for fun. Let's see the difference in weight and also you need lube on those hangers those exhaust hangers those rubbers They wouldn't have came out if I didn't have any WD-40 or type of lube for that So just make sure you have that handy when you're doing this job, but let's get weighing it and see uh, what the difference is So you can see it is about 11.4 pounds. That's the MagnaFlow Let's see what the other one is and the stock exhaust is about, I'm just balancing it here now, about 22.4 pounds. So that's a big difference. It's about half the weight. So that's awesome. I just wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, I got it all on, I haven't bolted it on. I uh, just slid it on the hangers. So remember to re-lube your hangers, posts, all that before you put it back on. Also, before you slip your exhaust on, put your clamp on the pipe first. And then also, don't forget that ground I was talking about right here, reclip it back on and use the new bolts and nuts because the old bolts aren't quite long enough. So make sure you use the new ones. So let's get this tightened up. I also wanna check the tailpipes and the spacing between the bumper and all that, make sure everything's nice and perfect. Get her tightened up, get her started for you. Can't wait. Hey guys, so before I took it for a spin out on the highway, I noticed a bit of a hiss at the back where the tailpipe goes into the, the MagnaFlow muffler. I just had to loosen that clamp and tap the tailpipe in a bit further, tighten it, and uh, that fixed everything there. So just may do a check after you're done if you do install one of these. Um, it's all good now. Took it on the highway, it sounds awesome. When you wanna hear it, you hear it. You step on it, you hear that nice throaty deep sound. But when you're just cruising on the highway, you don't hear anything. I didn't hear any drone, nothing like that. It's just got that nice, deep, 
throaty sound when you want it. You start it up, you hear it, you're not going to wake your neighbors or your family up, but you'll hear it. It's a bit louder. You can tell in the video, but it sounds awesome. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Please smash the like button, subscribe. There's going to be more videos. Thanks for watching.